Dan Marino, Randall Cunningham, and Bernie Kozar, the road to the pros began at the NFL punt, pass, and kick competition when they were just mere youngsters trying to outperform other 12 and 13 year olds. That being the case, Kendra Wecker is in prime position to one day be tossing passes in a Super Bowl. Kenny Maine throws a down and out to a rising star. Recess serves as a break from school and an entrance into a child's make-believe. At recess, anything and every dream seem possible. These boys dream of football. On those occasions when a bad pass is thrown, there's a common playground put-down. You throw like a girl. In Marysville, Kansas, there's a 12-year-old who not only throws like a girl, but kicks and punts like one also. Sunday, Kendra Wecker will do what no girl has done before. Join the boys in the national finals of the punt, pass, and kick competition. Yeah, my mom said when I was little, I always had a ball in my hands. What second nature has led to an historic first? While being the first might make her the sentimental favorite at Jack Murphy Stadium, she isn't exactly bidding to become feminism's poster child. I mean, I don't want to be out bragging and everything that I was the first girl and just take life the way it is, or was. The way it was around Marysville Elementary when the first round of the competition was held, the boys in school knew exactly what they were up against. We all knew that we weren't going to win once we got there, so we just tried to get second. That's all we were achieving for. You just realized that she's, she's just better than us. You got to just realize that. She can throw a football nearly 50 yards, but won't ask for a helmet when she enters junior high next year. Volleyball will be the fall sport in advance of her favorite, basketball. I like basketball the best. That shank may have had a lot to do with the Kansas cold snow and wind, but her kicking is an admitted weakness. If she's going to win on Sunday, she'll need to take advantage of her strength, her arm. Wecker's stiffest competition is from Colorado, and he's making his third straight trip to the finals, winning as an 11-year-old last year. Matt Sutton, I think his name is. He beat me by, I think, eight feet in the overall thing. So I'm just going to go out there and see what happens and do the best I can do. And he beats me. <laughs> He beats me. We didn't think she'd make it this far, so it's, um, it's kind of fun. Now, do you think the other guys are training the same way you are? Do you think they're dealing with the blizzard the day, a couple I, days before? I doubt it. <laughs> what do you think they're doing? Probably in nice sunny weather. <laughs> right where Kendra Wecker will be for Sunday's national final. And she's going because she throws like a girl and punts and kicks like one, too. And that's high praise around Marysville, Kansas. It's pretty exciting when you think about it. I mean, it's, um, you, I usually, I dream it at night and being there in the stadium and throwing and winning and so. She had more of a gun than Kenny Maine. The punt, pass, and kick competition is based on distance and accuracy. The passing part of the finals will be nationally televised tomorrow at halftime of the Dolphins-Chargers game. If Kendra takes the title, she'll be able to add the punt, pass, and kick championship to an already crowded trophy mantle that includes the last three Hershey softball throw competitions. Kenny's waiting for the break to let you have it. <laughs> Still happening on Sports Night, Hammer and Hank Goldberg filmed.